it looks uh, much more complicated than it really is, but you have to try it yourself. And I think this method is the easiest one and easy to manage. Hello everyone, my name is Christina and in this video I will show you how to do a pinhole cast on or also we know it as disappearing loop cast on. This uh, cast on we use every time when we need to knit something from the center with rapid increases moving outwards. Could be head, could be toe up sock for example, could be motifs for the blankets. First we start to take our yarn uh, this is a yarn tail, this is coming from the skin and we don't do anything fancy, we just do a loop like this. We don't need very big yarn tail and we make a loop like this, the yarn tail goes over like so and the loop uh, should not be too big, and let's say two fingers wide about. We pinch this cross with our undominant hand. Now uh, we will take our needle, one needle only. We put the needle into the loop, grab our working yarn and pull out a loop. There is loop like this sitting on the needle now still holding our crossing we make a yarn over and now if you're continental style knitting we grab our second yarn or needle the second needle and we need to pass the stitch over the yarn over and now this is our first real uh, stitch now we can let go as you can see now we will be knitting around these both strands and we make uh, for a start let's say usually it's um, eight stitches we put again the needle under the in the loop under the both strands pull out the loop Make yarn over and pass the stitch over as you would do decrease. Left, uh, yeah, left leaning decrease as if you would make. Now we make our third stitch. This might be a little bit uncomfortable, uh, but I find that this way it's the least confusing method to make pinhole cast on and this way we have already our first sort of row done and it will be easier to distribute the stitches between the needles make the stitch number four and pass now we have four loops. And the last one. Now we have our eight stitches. When you grab our yarn tail and pull, you can see that our loop is disappearing. And this is our disappearing loop cast on. Now we are ready to distribute the stitches between the needles. Now, when you have desired amount of stitches, we can uh, start knitting. If you are using circular needles, then we split those stitches in two halves, like so, pull it on the cord and uh, 
like so. Get ready for the knitting in the round. At this very moment, you can leave the hole a little bit and close it properly after a few rows. And now your setup is ready. Your pinhole cast on is done. It looks uh, much more complicated than it really is, but you have to try it yourself. And I think this method is the easiest one and easy to manage. And now, just according to the pattern you do with the stitches and distribute and put the markers as stated in the pattern. I hope you like this video. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye.